Hey Vibrant Life family. So this Friday, I wanted to chat with you a little bit about one of the reasons why taking care of the upper cervical spine is so important. Now, when we're looking at how our body is functioning, we need to understand that our body is a sensory being, a sensory motor being, but we are always evaluating our environment and we are sensing what is going on and then we're sending messages to our brain and then our brain is sending messages back down to our body on how to respond to that. So we wanna make sure that the messages being sent to the brain and back to the body are calming, are healing, are ones that set us up to be our best self. So one thing that can start to send errant messages is altered alignment. And so if our body is not in the right place, the body will send errant messages to the brain saying, hey brain, uh, something's going on. We're not, we're not in the right place. This doesn't feel safe. And the brain will then send messages back to respond to that and say, hey body, you're not safe. So we need to flip on our inflammatory processes and figure out what's going on to try and make sure that we keep ourselves safe. Now, how the upper cervical spine plays into this is because a large majority of mechanoreceptors, meaning sensors that uh, sense movement, alignment, motion, a majority of those of the spine are located in between the occiput and the atlas or in the upper cervical spine. So this is a big sensory place for our body to understand its alignment, to understand how it's moving, understand how it's existing in space. So if our upper cervical spine, our head and our neck are not in a good position, this is gonna be very insulting to the body, much more so than if we have that misalignment somewhere else in the spine. And that means that we're gonna have more errant messages being sent to the brain, telling the brain that something is wrong. And this is when we'll be switched out of our ventral vagus, so our cholinergic anti-inflammatory pathway will be um, shut off and will be existing more in an inflammatory mode. So when we evaluate how the upper cervical spine is existing and we understand the misalignment that is present, and we can individualize a very specific and very gentle adjustment to restore that alignment, then the head and the neck are like, whoa, this is nice. And they're gonna tell the brain that. They're like, brain, we're good, it's safe. We know where we are, we can move well, we can exist in space in the right way. And the brain then says, hey, ventral vagus, let's get going. We can turn on that cholinergic anti-inflammatory pathway. And then the body can start healing. And when we're healing, we can start feeling better and we can start doing more. And it's this cool cycle. Then the body feels safer and it, it senses the world to be safer. And we get to a mode where life is just so good and we're feeling good we're existing in space well, and we're able to do all of those things that we wanna do. So this is one of the reasons why the upper cervical spine is so critical to evaluate. That's why Dr. Jake and I love to look at this area, why we have such reverence for it, and why we take such um, care and attention to understanding how your upper cervical spine is potentially misaligned and then figuring out the best way to correct it for you individually. Because when we can get those messages being sent properly, you know, this is why this is why it's hard to say when someone comes in, they're like, can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? And the truth is, is we're not sure. But we know that if we can get that upper cervical spine in proper alignment and we can send the body can send better messages to the brain, we know that you're gonna be in a healthier place, that your body is gonna switch more into anti-inflammatory uh, modes, it's gonna be able to heal, and once the body starts healing, you know, anything is possible. 
anything is possible. So just wanted to share again more why we look at this upper cervical spine, why it's such a critical foundational piece in your health and wellness. So if you've loved the care that you've got in the office and you love the upper cervical spine just as much as we do, share this video with someone who you know could use support, who you know isn't living their best life and could do better with a better sense of safety and better messages between their brain and their body.